More and more businesses are taking advantage of the investment tax credit to go solar, take control of their energy supply, and to fight against rising energy costs. You're probably asking yourself, how does the tax credit work? Am I eligible? And how can my business claim it? Today, we're gonna answer all those questions and more. So whether you're ready to go solar today or just starting to explore your options, stick around. Welcome back everyone, I'm Victoria and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, solar financial incentives, and community solar. The Federal Investment Tax Credit, or ITC for short, is a tax credit that enables your business to deduct a portion of your new solar system's cost that you would otherwise have to pay the federal government in corporate income taxes. Prior to 2022, the ITC was scheduled to step down and ultimately go away forever. But when the Inflation Reduction Act passed in 2022, the ITC was not only strengthened at 30%, but also extended by 10 years. You can learn more about the history of the ITC in this video, but for now, let's dive into the most common questions, starting by breaking down the numbers. According to SIA, the residential and commercial solar ITC has helped the US solar industry grow by a factor of more than 200 times since it was implemented in 2006, with an average annual growth of 33% over the last decade alone. It's safe to say that the ITC is a big deal for solar in the US. Let's break it all down. Today, businesses and residents that invest in the solar system can claim the ITC as a 30% tax credit against their tax liability. The ITC is a dollar for dollar reduction in the income taxes that a person or company would otherwise pay to the federal government. The 30% tax credit is also available for energy storage projects, including standalone storage that is not charged by solar panels. To learn more about adding a battery system to your solar project, watch this video. And even sweeter, as a part of the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act, businesses can claim 10% tax credit adders for projects that meet certain criteria, like developing in a low-income community, on tribal land, or in energy communities. A project can also qualify for an ITC if 40% of their manufactured products are made here in the US. We cover all the details of these adder requirements in our video about the ITC extension linked below. If you're excited to claim these solar incentives, give this video a thumbs up. At this point, you might be wondering who's eligible for the ITC. The good news is businesses of all sizes are eligible for the ITC when installing solar. Even residents can take advantage of it. However, it's important to note that the ITC is a dollar for dollar tax credit. So your business needs to have sufficient tax liability to be able to monetize the credit. You have until 2032 to continue to carry the credit balance forward on your tax liability. But this is an important detail to confirm before you start your solar project. If you're a nonprofit, municipality, or for any other reason do not owe federal taxes, you may be able to acquire the value of this credit. By the way, here at Pivot, we are not tax advisors, and we recommend that you consult with a tax professional to confirm any ITC eligibility. Additionally, your business will not qualify for the ITC if you lease or finance your solar system rather than making a cash purchase. Even though you won't be able to take advantage of the tax benefits, financing does make solar much more affordable, and some financing options allow you to install solar with zero upfront cost. Learn more in this video. It's also worth noting that incentives are calculated based on the size of the commercial solar project and whether or not specific labor requirements are met. For example, projects over one megawatt AC can only receive the 30% credit if prevailing wages and apprenticeship requirements are met as defined by the Department of Labor in each state. If they're not met, you will receive a 6% credit instead. I know there's a lot to remember, but that's why working with an experienced solar developer like Pivot can get rid of the guessing game. And don't worry, we'll keep y'all updated if anything changes with the ITC eligibility. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you stay up to date. Now that we have eligibility covered, let's discuss how the ITC affects the overall cost of solar and the time it takes to recoup the upfront capital investment. The ITC can significantly reduce the cost of solar. The time it takes to recoup the cost of the project depends on the size of the system, local cost of energy, depreciation method, your state incentives, and the ITC itself. 
For example, let's imagine we have a 100 kW system that costs $200,000. With the 30% tax credit, you'd save $60,000. This would reduce the net cost of the system to $140,000. When you invest in a solar energy system for your company, you have an option to depreciate the system on your taxes, which you can do in addition to claiming the ITC. Typically, businesses can depreciate the cost of an asset over its useful life. For solar energy, you can opt for accelerated depreciation, also known as the Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, or MAKERS, where asset value reduces at a faster rate early on. In other words, the depreciation is sped up, or accelerated, which means you're creating tax losses in the first one to five years. This reduces your taxable income and taxes paid during the early years of your solar project's operation and increases the project's profitability. Learn more about how depreciation works here. However, in most cases, businesses can expect to recoup the cost of their solar system in less than 10 years. From there, it's free energy that you actually own. When you consider the fact that the average lifespan of a solar system is 25 years or longer, the answer is obvious. Solar can provide you with over 15 years of pure returns. We go through an in-depth mock-up of the ROI and timeline of a hypothetical commercial solar customer in this video. It'll help you and your company's decision makers understand the numbers, advantages, and more. In addition to the financial benefits from the tax credit, Going Solar also provides businesses with a number of environmental and sustainability benefits. Not only will your business reduce its carbon footprint, improve air quality, and increase energy independence, you'll also make progress towards reaching your sustainability goals. Plus, consumers today more than ever want to purchase from companies that care about the planet. The advantages to solar are endless. With the ITC in full swing and continuously rising electricity costs from utilities, now is the best time to go solar. Pivot Energy is a turnkey solar developer, so we work with our clients on all aspects of their solar project, from planning to financing, construction, and maintenance. We're there for you from start to finish, and as a certified B Corp, we understand the importance of maximizing your investment to hit your ESG goals. If you have questions or you're interested in getting started with commercial solar, leave a comment below or reach out to me over email. My contact information is listed in the description below. To learn more about how Pivot can help you launch your commercial solar project, visit pivotenergy.net. If this video helped you understand the solar tax credit, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.